Do you still remember? In 2020, in the middle of the global lockdowns, we thought things would get better soon. Then came 2021, then 2022, COVID seemed to be over. Then there was the Ukraine war, inflation rose to unknown heights, the Palestinian conflict escalated, China is about to attack Taiwan, Iran will soon have a nuclear bomb, our jobs are all at risk due to AI, and we ask ourselves, how is this all supposed to continue? Quite frank, I have no idea either, but I'll give you some advice. Don't stop taking photos, but maybe do it a bit differently. And do it in such a way that your photography finally makes you happy and you can draw the strength from it to get through uncertain times like these we have right now. Welcome to Photography in Times of Uncertainty. I'll be honest to you, I'm also extremely unsettled by everything that's happening in our world right now. But especially in times of great upheaval, uncertainty and external dangers, we need constants. That can be our family, the daily egg for breakfast or the regular photo walks. You might say, I don't have time for photography anymore because I have to work more to keep up with inflation. Unfortunately, that may be true. But relaxation and free time are immensely important if you want to continue to have the energy to pursue your commitments. And how do we street photographers prefer to spend our time then in the fresh air with a camera in our hands? I try to keep time free for my photo walks despite personal stress or money worries. But one thing has changed. Since AI can generate a perfect photo with just a few clicks, I've moved away from trying to take the perfect photo or to define a lot of photographic output as a goal in the first place. When a perfect photo is no longer the goal, the journey automatically becomes the goal. Street photography also means spending a lot of time outdoors, filling up on vitamin D and drawing energy from it for difficult times. When the result is no longer the goal, but a photo walk is more a source of strength and relaxation, you are also much freer. Photography in the forest or in the meadow or on a walk with your dog is no street photography. Who in the world is defining this? Do you enjoy being out on the streets with other photographers and like to chat but realize that you don't take many photos while you engage with others? Never mind. The important thing is that you come back from your walks in a good mood and not with supposedly good photos that are then liked on Instagram by people you will probably never meet. Maybe we all should do photo walks where we just focus on topics that are really important to us. Even if it's just flowers by the side of the streets. People who enjoy these photos are the folks who are on our wavelength and not necessarily those who are hyping the 1000th light shadow black and white picture on Instagram. Or maybe you don't publish your outcomes at all because these are photos that you only take for yourself, like I did it for a while now. What photos do you think you will remember at the end of your life? The artistic light shadow, black and white compositions, or the pictures of your garden in spring, the photos of your dog or your family. These are difficult times, but these times also give us the chance to free ourselves from many demands that we perhaps secretly don't want to live up to. Make your own rules and shoot what makes you happy. Happy shooting! See you in the next video. Yours, Oliver.